Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you step by step how to install Jellyfin, a free open source media server that I'll be running on Ubuntu. By the end of this video, you'll have Jellyfin fully set up, ready to stream your movies, TV shows, and music to any device in your home. First, let's check out the Jellyfin homepage. Jellyfin is an alternative to Plex and MB. It's completely free with no subscriptions and you keep full control of your media library. In this video, we're installing Jellyfin and Ubuntu server inside of Proxmox. This setup gives us flexibility, easy backups, and isolation from other services. First, we'll create a new virtual machine in Proxmox. So let's go back over there. To do this, we'll be setting this up on our first node today. We'll come up in the top right and click this Create VM button. And here we can start provisioning this virtual machine. For simplicity's sake, I'm just going to call it Jellyfin and allow the auto increment of 101 to be the ID. Under the operating system, we are going to have this running on an Ubuntu 24.04 live server. So we can click that right here. Next, we're going to turn on the Kimu agent. And this basically just gives us a little more granular control of the virtual machine from Proxmox, the hypervisor. Now, I'm only really going to be using Jellyfin for music, so I'm going to give it 128 gigabytes. Now, in the future, if I want to assign it more storage, I can always add another disk to it. For CPU cores, it's not super intense with just music at the moment, so we're just going to give it two cores, but once again, we can always increase this number. And the same is true for RAM, so we're going to give it 4096 megabytes, uh, which is 4 gigabytes. Under the network, we're going to have it running on our LAN bridge, and we do not need the local firewall on as we have other firewalls in the network. So we're going to hit finish, and this machine is going to be getting provisioned. We will press the start now button, and this is basically just going to start up the machine and let us start installing Ubuntu. Now, I will speed up this process a little bit, um, but you can watch what I'm doing. We will update to the new installer, as that's always the best option. Now, for most of these sections, just the default options are correct. We do not need to wait for the mirror test in our case, so we're going to skip that. Now this is essentially just setting up the file structure of uh, Ubuntu and giving you a last chance before you overwrite any partitions that were on the previous disk before you used it for this purpose. Now as this was a completely blank disk, we don't have to worry about it, so we're just going to go through and hit continue. We will put an open SSH server on there so we can remotely access it if necessary. And none of these things need to be installed, so we will skip this. So now that this is done, we are going to go ahead and reboot the machine. Now we should get a little thing popping up that says we need to remove this CD drive, which is where the ISO is stored. So we're going to go ahead and do that. The error was predicted correctly, and we can just press enter to retry it. The server has already booted, so we're just going to go ahead and log in. Make sure you remember that password from earlier. Now, once we're actually in the Ubuntu command line, we're just going to run a couple basic commands that are going to update our environment, like sudo apt update. This will basically pull down all the different repositories and code bases of resources we use on the server. And then that allows us to upgrade them with sudo apt upgrade. And we can put tack y to go ahead and say, yes, we do want to download all the updates that are available. All right, now that that's done, we're gonna go over to the Jellyfin website again. We're going to go to documentation and under getting started, since we're doing this on Ubuntu, we're gonna click on the Ubuntu hyperlink. Now this top command right here is the only thing you actually have to run to successfully install Jellyfin. So we're going to go back over to Proxmox, and we're going to type this in. 
So it's going to ask us right here, you know, is everything correct? That operating system and architecture? And yes, they are. So we're going to press enter. And now it's going to download whatever repositories it needs. It's going to install them. And then as everything goes well, it will run them. Now Jellyfin has been successfully installed and it's going to wait about 15 seconds for us to get that link just to make sure that the web server is actually up. Perfect. Now it looks like Jellyfin was enabled and started correctly, so it will run every time this server restarts. We can see down here what the IP address is, so we're just going to come up here and put that in here. And now this is port running on port 8096. And perfect, Jellyfin is working. So we are going to hit next and go ahead and enter in some information. Once again, make sure you use a strong password. It can be the same one as your server, um, but if you're more security minded, you can pick a different one if you'd like. Now, this is actually where we're going to start setting up some media libraries. So we're going to hit the plus here. And for now, we're just going to stick with music because it requires a lot of space to really have movies and TV shows on your own home lab. Uh, we can just call this, you know, Axonify <laughs> instead of Spotify. That's our own version. Under folders is where we're actually going to be storing this stuff on our server. So we're going to go back into Proxmox here and we're going to type in PWD, which will print our working directory. Now you can see we're in slash home slash axon, which is where my user lives. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to CD to the root directory. Now this is going to take us, as you can see, to the root directory. We can ls tag lah to get a long format reading and a human readable format showing hidden files too. And so this is basically going to show us everything that lives in the main root directory. Now using sudo to make directory, we can call this jellyfin. And this is where we're going to let jellyfin live. So we're going to cd into that directory and we can list what's in there. Obviously it's empty. So we're going to make another directory in here called music. So this directory music is where all of our music is going to live. And we have selected it. Now everything in here, uh, you can really just leave it basic. So I'm going to select English and we can leave our country in region blank. It is not necessary. Now all of this, you can just leave as it is. Hit OK. Next. Next. And next. Now Jellyfin has been finished setting up. So let's try logging in and see where we're at. Now, there's actually nothing in here at the moment because we haven't added anything to that folder. But over here, you can see that we are in the Jellyfin and music section. So if we were to open a, a tool like uh, WinSCP, for example, then we actually can come in and connect to the server. So we're going to put in that IP address from earlier. A username and password and we're gonna log in so as you can see over here we are now in that server and this is where we're just gonna basically drag and drop anything we want for example um, we're just gonna drag and drop some music in here It will not let us. We have permission denied. So this is a common uh, issue with basically permissions. So we're going to come back into Proxmox over here. And we're going to LSLAH to see who owns this directory. We can type that command in again and see it for here. So we're actually going to change ownership of this to Axon Group Axon. And we are going to do it recursively for everything inside of it. This might need to be a capital R. Right, so as Axon, we don't have permission, so we're going to need to run that with sudo. 
Now, if we ls and long list it again, we should see this music is owned by Axon now. So if we come back over here and we try to drag and drop again, we should be allowed to perfectly. And it works just as intended. So let's come back over here. Now to get that music to actually show up at our library, we're going to need to come to our dashboard and we're going to hit scan all libraries. Now, once we do that, we can just go hit the back button, go to songs and voila, all the music that you could want in here is now here. Um, and that's essentially how you do it for any of your music. So have at it, download what you will and enjoy Jellyfin.